everyone. I know it's been a while since I made an update, and first of all, since it's been so long since I have made an update, I feel crazy talking to the camera again because I had barely gotten used to it the last time. Um, I guess I haven't made any updates because I really didn't want to get back on camera and say that I had failed at Weight Watchers, <laughs> but that was kind of what happened. Um, after my last little debacle with the pregnancy test, uh, the Dollar Tree pregnancy test in September of 2011, when I had gotten two tests that had pink lines and um, I thought I was pregnant, I kind of just got really depressed after that and then I was trying to be on Weight Watchers and then I just got off of it as usual and I gained back all the weight I had lost and got up to 227. Um, I'm currently on Weight Watchers again. I've been on it for about six weeks now, and I I kind of wanted to make a video before this, but I, w I just thought I didn't want to get back on film in front of you guys saying that I weighed more than I did on my last update. So, um, anyway, right now, I believe on the last video I made, I said I weighed 217, and I currently am weighing um, 214 pounds right now. So, I've lost 13 pounds since I started again. Um, as a side note, you may wonder who this little baby is that I'm holding here. Or maybe you haven't been fooled. <laughs> this is actually a baby doll that I made. Um, it's called Reborning. I don't know if any of you all out there have heard of it. But what you do, sorry, my daughter's on the other side of the camera smiling at me, so I'm smiling at her. Um, what I did was I actually, through a friend of mine on Facebook, found this lady who does these reborn dolls. And I'd heard about it a few years ago. And what you do is you take a vinyl baby doll and uh, you can either strip the paint off of it if it's already been painted, or you can buy kits that have not been painted yet. And you paint them to look like real babies, and then you um, put weight in their body, like glass beads or plastic pellets or something, to kind of give them the weight of a real newborn baby. And I feel like I'm holding a baby, which is why I keep having it. It's kind of just a habit, I guess. Uh, this is the first doll I ever made, so she's not as good as she could be. But um, we named her Allison Grace. That's what me and Daphne came up with. And let's see here, her head moves. I did the hair. Let's see, Daphne. Let's see if you can uh, get it to focus on the baby. I need to, her little headband's coming you off. Have to, let's see if I can fix you it. You have to, um. But her head leans back. Can you see her in the camera now? No, you have to lift her up. Okay. Yeah, like that. Her head leans back like a real baby if you don't support it. And um, it took me about 25 hours to make her. I did this hair by hand with a little tool, um, one to two hairs at a time on her head. And that was, boy, the hair took me nine hours just to do that. So, and I didn't, I didn't do it quite as good as I would, as I hoped I could have. You could definitely see if you can tap it on the screen to get it to focus on her. Is it focused? Yeah. So this is my little baby. I painted veins on her, eyelashes. I did everything. Um, tried to put some red color to look like realistic newborn skin and did little little veins on her hands and the tips of her fingernails but it took me a long time to make her and I'm really proud of her we took her to Walmart and uh let me back up a little picture so focus uh we took her to Walmart and people kept thinking that my daughter Daphne who just turned seven was holding a real baby so um but anyway so this is one of the new things I'm trying to do I don't know honestly if I'll truly get into this as a business I I kind of was just fascinated by the whole thing and wondered if I could make a baby myself and actually get it to look real and apparently I did since I had quite a few people at Walmart thinking I was carrying around a real baby but it's neat because there are I mean their arms and legs move around and you can pose them into different poses and she's got a diaper on and I went shopping and bought her a bunch of little newborn clothes to do a photo shoot um, to kind of show her off on my Facebook page but anyway um, as for myself the whole baby trying to get pregnant thing I'm of course always in the back of my mind thinking of that I haven't went out of my way for quite some time now to actually try to do anything like um, Clomid or anything other than just the regular baby making <laughs> trying to do that when I think I'm gonna ovulate I, I haven't even been doing ovulation uh, kits because I just figure what's the point in wasting my money it seems like it's never gonna happen it's been three and a half years um, but I did tell myself that, oh, well, I guess I never updated after my last appointment. Um, I did finally get to see the reproductive endocrinologist, and um, 
he said that it was going to be, I believe he said, between $1,200 and $1,500 to do an IUI, and that would be using Femera, which I have not tried, which is similar to Clomid to make me ovulate. I would use Femera and then uh, come into his office for an ultrasound, I believe he said on day 12 or 13, to see if I had any follicles that were mature. Um, if I did have mature follicles, they would give me an HCG shot to make me ovulate, and then I would come in and whatever, I don't remember how he said, now it's been four months ago, but I would come in to do the IUI. And anyway, 1200 to 1500 I don't have that kind of money right now. Um, I, I definitely need to save for that if I'm going to go that route. So I thought, since I haven't tried Femera yet though, I thought about um, what I'm going to do is go back to my OBGYN who gave me the Clomid before. And I think I have like a 50 or $60 copay to see her. And then, uh, which is not covered because my lovely insurance does not cover infertility. So I told myself if I could get down to close to 200, I'd say, you know, 205 to 200, by the time my next period starts, then I'm going to go ahead and call my OBGYN and see if she'll let me come in and try a few cycles of Femera since I have not tried it yet. And from what I've read online, it seems to look like it maybe has a better success rate than Clomid does. And it, um, has less side effects than Clomid does. So I'm kind of happy about that because I always got really bad headaches when I took Clomid um, on like day three or four and it would last for like a full day and a half and I could nothing would help to make it go away. So that's what, what I'm doing right now. Um, I'm 214, trying to stay focused as good as I can on Weight Watchers. Um, hopefully, since my cycles are seeming to last anywhere from 32 to 46 days, hopefully by the time... Um, my next one rolls around, then I will be um, down to the weight I want to be and able to go ahead and schedule an appointment. But I also thought maybe I should try to wait two more cycles um, just to give myself time to lose a little bit more weight. I don't know. I just can't make up my mind. All I know is that the two times I've gotten pregnant on my own with no help, um, it was right around May and June. So um, I conceived Daphne. Let me think. I guess I would have conceived my oldest around the end of May, and then I conceived um, Catherine. I found out at the end of July that I was pregnant. So it was probably mid-July, actually, when I conceived Catherine, my, my youngest daughter. And um, so I wonder if I'm more fertile at that time of the year or if it was just a coincidence. I don't know. But anyway, I guess that's all for now. I just wanted to up update you on my situation. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate it, and I really am going to try to stay focused and get some new videos made at least a couple a month, but really I'm going to shoot for once a week and see how that goes. So thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.